Freedom Chair is an off-road recreational device that's basically like a mountain bike wheelchair. It helps people of all abilities go off-road and ride around on rough terrain, ride more effectively on smooth terrain, go on sidewalks, go over uneven curbs. It's really an all-terrain machine that takes people off the pavement wherever they want to go. We spent the past six years developing the Freedom Chair. The first version was designed specifically for people in developing countries. People who live in places where there aren't roads, where it's extremely difficult just to get to, to work or to school. We've delivered over 1,200 of these chairs across the developing world, and we spent the past two years refining the Freedom Chair for riders right here in the United States. We came up with the Freedom Chair's lever drivetrain while we were students at MIT. We were looking into the biomechanics of what you could do with your upper body and looked at all sorts of interesting information, from Air Force anthropometric data about what pilots could push, all the way to different research on modern day wheelchair propulsion techniques. And we chose the lever drivetrain because it let you have huge advantages over traditional propulsion, like what you see people doing in a wheelchair every day, and also over hand cycles. Rather than something that's really long, designed for outdoor use, we could design a drivetrain that was compact. So the great thing about working on the Freedom Chair is, one, it's an amazing engineering challenge. Um, but probably more importantly than that, it's an engineering challenge that really impacts a lot of people. So we're going from the whiteboard, you know, doing different calculations to make sure you know, everything is up to snuff in, in the chair and it will perform as we expect it to. Then we go into the trail and have users actually use it and, and get somewhere that they could never go before. People in wheelchairs want to get off the road. They want to be away from the sidewalk. It's not very fun going outside and you creep up and then all you see is that edge, but you can't go past it because your chair is going to get stuck. Being able to say, there are other options out there. You can go past that edge. I mean, that's the whole point of rehab, is to push someone closer to the edge and finding a new edge to push them to. It's faster and more mobile, definitely, getting on and off the road. So even he worked up a sweat running after me. Yeah. So yeah. it's definitely much better. And as far as like getting out and having a good time going off-roading, this is much better. Yeah, this is great. All the moving parts on the Freedom Chair are bicycle parts. From the headset right in the front wheel, down to the 26-inch downhill mountain bike tires we use in the back. This means you can roll into your local bike shop and get any spare parts you might need. And not only that, but you can customize it and make it your own. We designed the Freedom Chair to be manufactured right here in the USA. I grew up just outside of Detroit, and American manufacturing is really important to me. And even more important to us as designers is having a close partnership with your manufacturers so you can make a really high quality product and get it to market quickly. So we're making this version of the Freedom Chair right here in Massachusetts and hope to continue producing it in the US. Using the lever drivetrain is really easy. You basically change where you put your hands on the lever to match the terrain you're on. Grabbing at the bottom of the levers lets you push through a long arc, allowing you to move efficiently on smooth ground. It's basically the top gear of the Freedom Chair. On rough terrain, where you need more leverage to get over obstacles, you can slide your hands to the top of the lever. This gives you the leverage you need to really power over you know, dirt, grass, snow, sand, anything that you'd encounter on the trail. There's a whole lot beyond the pavement, and allowing people to get off the beaten path, even if it's as simple as rolling on the grass, uh, allows them a quality of life that um, we take for granted.